Okay, so on this mammary gland model, what we can see is half of it is gonna show you the external or the superficial look. So this is all of our skin. And then we've removed the skin on this side so that you could see the deep or the internal structures. The nipple is right in the center and surrounding the nipple we have the areola. This is not always going to be pink, so in minorities this will be up to a darker brown color, just depending upon how much melanin they have in their skin. When you're looking here, obviously this is muscle, so this is specifically the pectoralis major muscle. All of the yellow is representing fat, and all of the purple is going to be representing the lymphatic vessels. These will lead to the nipple, which as you can see from this angle here, we have all of these lymphatic vessels that lead to the lactiferous sinus. The lactiferous sinus leads to the lactiferous ducts, which are these purple long structures that you see that ultimately end up in the lactiferous glands. This in the gray area is the connective tissue. All breasts are made up of mostly connective tissue and adipose fat and of course the glands. In a non-lactating female, these glands are going to be smaller but in a woman who is currently breastfeeding, these glands will engorge with milk, and so the breasts will get a lot larger because of the increased amount of fluid inside of the breast tissue.